Picture this, you're lining up the perfect shot, the light is golden, your subject is ready, and your camera misses the moment because the autofocus hesitated. Painful, right? Well, rumor has it Sony's about to make sure that never happens again. The Sony A7V, or Alpha 7V if we're getting fancy, is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated mirrorless releases in years, but is it worth the wait? Or is Sony just dangling another shiny toy to tempt you away from? The perfectly capable A74, let's find out. The Alpha 7 lineup has been a game changer for photographers and videographers. When the A7 III launched in 2018 for $1,999, it didn't just turn heads. It blew the doors off the full-frame market by giving pros and serious hobbyists a high-performance tool. At an approachable price, the A7 IV in 2021 pushed things further. With improved processing, autofocus, and hybrid features, all for $2,499. Now, the A7V seems set to raise the bar and the price. Early leaks suggest $2,799 for the body alone, and once you factor in VAT or import costs, European buyers could be staring at €3,400, while Canada might hit nearly for $1,000 CAD. That's flagship money for a camera that's supposed to be for enthusiasts, so it better deliver some flagship magic. Here's the headline, a 44-megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor. That's a big jump from the A7 IV's 3.3MP, giving you more cropping flexibility without sacrificing too much. Burst performance. Think of it as the middle ground between the A7 IV's balanced resolution and the crazy high megapixel count of the A7 RV. And no, it's not stacked, which means it should cost less than Sony's flagship A1, but still give you richer detail better low-light shots, and broader dynamic range. For landscape shooters and commercial photographers, that's exciting. For low-light street shooters, it's even better news, under the hood. Expect the Bionz XR image processor, possibly paired with a dedicated AI chip for autofocus. That's where things get spicy, AI-driven subject recognition is the future. And Sony's rumored to be going all in here, with faster, smarter tracking for people, animals and objects. Wildlife moving through dense trees, athletes sprinting across a field, random kids suddenly photobombing your wedding shoot, the A7V, is rumored to handle them all without a blink. And if true, that fixes one of the A7 IV's biggest gripes. Those rare but frustrating moments when autofocus felt unsure of itself. Rumors suggest up to 20 frames per second with full AF and A tracking, that's double the A74's 10 FPS and dangerously close to flagship territory for sports, wildlife, and action shooters. This could be the reason to upgrade. And yes, Sony's reportedly improved heat management so you won't overheat during long bursts or extended for K recording sessions. If you shoot video, the A7V's rumored upgrades are, well, kind of drill worthy. Think oversampled for K with 16-bit raw output via HDMI, S-Log3 and S-Cinetone for cinematic color grading and in body stabilization that could hit up to eight stops. Translation, smooth, handheld footage even if you've had way too much coffee. Dual card slots, one Cafexpress Type-A and one UHS 2SD keep things fast and reliable. And for those of us who've lost work to a corrupted card, you know, that second slot is basically emotional insurance. Sony's rumored to be borrowing design cues from the A1, meaning a sturdier, more premium body than the A7 IV, expect a deeper grip for long shoots better button placement and a high raise articulating touchscreen that actually holds up in bright sunlight. Oh, and a sharper, more immersive electronic viewfinder. Because sometimes you do want to feel like you're inside the shot, the only potential sore spot. No top LCD. Some pros love it for quick checks, others think it's unnecessary. Sony seems to be sticking with the clean, minimalist look. Love it or hate it, it's part of their DNA. Canon's EOS R6 Mark II, Nikon Z6 III and Panasonic's S5 the series all have strong offerings right now. Each brings unique strengths, from Nikon's EVF quality to Panasonic's video stabilization. That means Sony's A7V can't just be a slightly better A7 IV, it has to be a clear leap forward. In real-world shooting, not just on paper, here's the short version. If you need faster burst rates, sharper autofocus, and more resolution, and you can afford to wait, hold out for the A7V. If you need a camera right now and the A7 IV's 3.3MP sensor and 10 FPS, burst already meet your needs, it's still an incredible deal. Especially with discounts flying around. 
The Sony A7V has the potential to be the ultimate enthusiast full frame, a true hybrid powerhouse. A 4 for MP sensor, AI autofocus, 20 FPS bursts, pro level video features, and a more ergonomic body could make it a must have for creators ready to push their limits. If Sony nails it, we could be looking at the next camera to define the mirrorless era. If not, well, at least the A7IV will still be there, quietly doing its job like a loyal workhorse. Either way, this launch will be worth watching, and trust me, I'll be covering every leak, rumor, and update as it happens. So, if you want to stay ahead of the curve, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and check out these two videos right here, one for the latest mirrorless news, and another deep dive into whether upgrading gear really makes you a better photographer. See you there.